fact is that tomorrow your job is going to be impacted from artificial intelligence. What's going to be like to be a product manager in an AI first world? Now, regardless of the fact that you are working with artificial intelligence today, that you're interested in artificial intelligence, that you're even a product manager, you might think of becoming a product manager, regardless of where you are today, the thought is that tomorrow your job is going to be impacted from artificial intelligence. And therefore, here is the point. What are you going to do with it? Now, I want to give you three tips that can help you to navigate this new world, even if you have nothing to do with artificial intelligence, you're not particularly passionate about it, and you believe that being a product manager has nothing to do with the new wave of technology. Before going further though, if you like to receive tips, Michael Fox, the SVP of an interesting New York company working in artificial intelligence, and myself have written a book, The 101 Tips for Effective Product Managers. So take a look, it's available on Amazon on lindodivia.com. So let's go back to these three very simple tips that you should take into account. The first one is be on the lookout for opportunities to automate your user journey. So if there are situations where your users, your customers are doing tasks that are repetitive or that are very boring or that cost a lot and are not really amenable to standard automations, these are all areas where artificial intelligence can help you develop a much better product and retain your customer or entice them with new offerings. The number two is very related to tip, and it's basically stay on the lookout for third-party technologies that can be incorporated in your product or can extend your product. Today, it's we are really living in a world where uh, basically third-party providers can give you a lot of advantages. So believe it or not, you can leverage somebody else's APIs almost entirely um, rebuilds an Amazon-like business, e-commerce business, with the same capabilities that Amazon has, almost the same. You can use voice applications that allow you to do things with customer relationship and, and customer management that were simply not conceivable a number of years ago. And furthermore, when you look at marketing your product, there, there are a tons of third parties marketing automations today that uh, can uh, take basically your ability to reach out and manage your customers to uh, a level that was unprecedented. So the last tip I want to give you is basically leveraging AI automations to extract more insights about your user behavior, about your customers. So this might not seem new, isn't it? But it is actually the way that you can do it that is new. You see, back in the past, 15, 20 years ago, doing data mining on your customer insight and extracting insights on your customer behavior was something that requested you to hire a consulting company or to hire a team of data scientists necessarily. Today, we're seeing the emergence of these new technologies built around AI that completely automate the process of extracting insights from customer data. And that also means cutting down costs at multiple levels, cutting down the costs of having to hire complex teams. You can do it with just one engineer. Sometimes you can even do it yourself as a product manager. So these um, three things, no matter what, they're gonna be very useful for you in being successful in an AI first world. Now, if you wanna learn more about these very topics, I have lots of videos on conversation in artificial intelligence, my YouTube channel. And if you want to learn even more, check out inodina.com to get our books and our courses. Thank you.